Hi, Brigade. We keep innovating, and now we're bringing to you at your home, your DIY kit, make your own pizza. So you don't even have to come in our restaurants anymore, you just have to make it at home. The way it works, you order it on Uber Eats, or you come pick it up in restaurants and you make it on Friday night with your loved one, whenever you feel like it. What comes in the DIY kit, you're asking? Well, here it is. Tomato sauce, shredded mozzarella cheese, fiore di latte, fresh mozzarella cheese, or a mix of both if you want to, fresh basil leaf, two pieces of dough, as well as flowers and olive oil. On the table, if you have a, a marble table, a, some sort of a, a stone table, that's even better than wood. Now we're gonna take the dough and get it on the table. That's it, like that. The, the, you're gonna start pushing the dough like this. So you put it down and you push. We rotate the dough a quarter turn. Then we're gonna push it even more. We I've flip it around. I've seen people like throw it in the air and then catch it. Home, why not? Just like, throw it in the air. They throw it, but it turns, and then they catch it. Yeah, they do that. So we don't touch the crust around it. That's the main idea. Not touching the crust. So you want to keep the crust well and puffy, like this. So that once you get a good size like this, you're just going to put your hand in there, and then you're going to put it on your arm, okay? So you're going to put it on your knuckles. What we're going to do is we're going to put it on our hand like this, like pulling it outward, okay? But not too hard and then rotate it. Now the dough is really, really well open, so I think we can start using that to make our pizza. So we're gonna put the pizza dough on top of this pan here, and we're gonna put it on the oven, on the top of the oven to cook it. Not in the oven, on top of it. So we're just gonna cook the bottom first, let the, the pizza puff like it does on the real wood oven. They always puff from the bottom, there's heat. Then we're gonna finish it inside the oven after. You ready? First thing you do is you put oil at the bottom of the pan, so not too much. You don't want it to be too oily, but you just don't want it to stick in the pan. So you're gonna rub your pan like this. You can also have somebody help you like this. It's easier like this, you can have somebody helping you out, just holding the pan here. And that's it, so now we got our pizza inside of our pan, and we're ready to put the topping. Start your oven, the top oven, before you come, you come with the pan, you want it to be hot already. So I'd say put it like at nine, something like that. You want it to be hot. Okay, so we're gonna put the sauce on the pizza. Yeah, that's a big so, bubble. Yeah, there's bubble at the bottom, but yeah, there you go. Uh, it's up to you, you can cut it with a knife, you can tear it uh, with your finger. If you're in lattes, uh, just do it the way you like it. We're gonna put a little bit of olive oil, because the margarita holes have olive oil on it. Then we're gonna add our fresh basil on top of the pizza. We're gonna put it before. So now we just have to put it directly on the oven and then cook it. You guys can already see that it's starting to cook. We can hear your oven's on. So we're gonna put it up 450 so it's ready. When you got a little bubble like this, you just pull it like this a little bit out. That's all you have to do, okay? But how do you know when it's, when it's cooked? Okay guys, so you're gonna start looking at the bottom of your pizza here. You see that it's turning a little more brown? I don't know if you guys can see. So you want this to be a little browner. You can tell like the pizza here is starting to inflate as well. It's getting Puffier and puffier, so you can see there that the, uh, the pizza is starting to puff on the edge. Watch your pizza so it doesn't burn. Uh, so what we do is we're going to cook the bottom, then we're going to cook the top inside. So this is a very good sign, it's starting to get brownier and brownier. You guys can see here, so it's getting more brown and more brown. So this is a good sign, that's what we want. We want the pizza to start puffing and turning a little more brown. You don't want to burn it, keep an eye on it. You can slowly reduce the heat. That's very, very good. I would say we're about to toss it in the oven. So that's a color that we like. Rather transfer it, but you could also put that thing in the oven as well if you wanted to. So we're just gonna transfer it like this. Now, if you want, you could start another one. Meanwhile, you have the other one cooking in the oven. That's a thing as well. Well, now we have the pizza in here. I put my grill in the middle. So keep an eye on it. I can't tell you exactly what the temperature you should put or how long because it depends on you. But I would say mine's at 450 right now. I'm gonna leave it in there for two minutes and I'm gonna keep an eye on it because I know that it can burn really quickly depending how cook you like it. So I'm gonna let you choose guys on that part. All right guys, so it's been in there for two minutes now. So it's, it's not even turning brown yet, but the dough is starting to puff and that's a good sign. That's what we wanna see. We don't have the brown color that we're looking for. So we're gonna leave it in there a little more. It's probably gonna be more like five to 10 minutes. I'm pretty sure more 10 minutes than five. 
Uh, at the end, you can also rise it to 500 to give it a good broil. Right now I'm at 450 and it's been like that since the beginning. Uh, very hungry. Wow. That is lovely. So after five minutes, the pizza looks very, very good. It's puffed already, it's cooked. It's yeah. not fully cooked, but it's cooked. So we're gonna keep it cooking again for another probably five minutes. I'm gonna keep an eye on it. And if I need to, I'm gonna rise it to 500 to give it that burn char at the end, which I like. But that's up to you at home. If you don't, you, then you don't. Whoa. Woo. Check out the temperature grill for the last 90 seconds or so. So we're gonna get it out and we're gonna eat. This is perfect, the bottom is perfect as well. Now it's ready to eat. Made at home pizza like this, priceless. A very good pizza at home, made with your family, so you guys can all enjoy and be happy. So if you need it, go on ubereats.com, or you can come to the restaurants as well, and we're gonna provide you with that same kit. Enjoy it, have fun with your family, and stay safe. Pizza's ready. Pizza for Charlotte. I burned my face off, dude. Be careful, guys. Very, very extremely hot. Yeah.